All right, so we're gonna be building something else in here. You guys have probably noticed we haven't used this set very much recently. In fact, we had the white table, which Nick's taking apart, which had our AMD rig on it. And then we had the black table, we had like light side, dark side, get it? Um, which had our Intel rig on there and they were just using it for test benches and stuff. So we decided to move them over here onto the big desk so that we can do side by side testing and such. And we've kind of decided we're gonna bring a podcast back to this channel. How to decide what it's gonna be called yet. I have a few names in store. In fact, we're gonna try and get our very first one out this Friday, which means this area over here now is gonna become our permanent setup for podcasting. You guys wanna hear some unfiltered tech talk? It's not actually tech talk, but it's really gonna be kind of, I think maybe our first topic should be being a nerd and dating. The Elite XG270QG from ViewSonic breaks the traditional ugly appearance of gaming monitors by providing an ultra clean design while still delivering gamers the features that they want most. Features like a one millisecond response time, IPS 165 hertz overclock display, black brushed aluminum stand with tilt and swivel, mouse and keyboard cable anchors and customizable subtle lighting. To learn more about the XG270GQ from ViewSonic and to see current pricing, click the link in the description below. So we had to get some equipment for this, obviously. I'm thinking that our, we'll just use our small camera, our FS7. Our newscaster in the field, Nicholas <laughs> Coconut Monkey. Oh, okay, you there we go. <laughs> Back to you, Jay. <laughs> Cause here's the thing, we're gonna be doing a video podcast um, that's live. And then we're also gonna be capturing the audio and putting it up on Spotify or some other streaming service so that you guys can listen to it in your car and stuff. One of the most requested things I ever had for Tech Talk that I never actually did. But obviously we need equipment for that. So we've got three boom arms because each one of us will have our own dedicated mic. No more of that whole like stupid mic too far away and it's all echoey and stuff. So we have our Gator Frameworks uh, arms, which I got these because here's the thing. You have, the equipment has to look nice on camera. You know, if you're just doing an audio podcast, who cares what it looks like? But one of the things I loved about these and they were not cheap. I'll put links to them in the description. If you guys are interested. Um, Especially since I know so many of you like to do live streaming and such at home and maybe you're watching some ideas. This, look how nice and pretty that arm is. It's got adjustable tension knobs right there so that you can adjust it and such. It's got the uh, threaded, well dual threaded mic mount right here. It's got an integrated 10 foot XLR cable, desk clamp and it just looks nice and pretty on camera. This is the part I'm actually most excited about. We knew we needed a mixer that could handle three mics. The Rodecaster Pro, no, not a sponsor. I paid 600 bucks for this. Everything you see here, I paid for. There's no sponsorships in this whatsoever. But the Rodecaster uh, Pro allows us to actually capture four mics. Each mic will also have, to have its own monitoring heads uh, plug. That way everyone can hear themselves as well as everyone else talking. So hopefully that should keep us from screaming, but we're all loud talkers. That's probably not gonna be the case. Except for, yeah, except for me. Yeah, but the nice thing is I could just gain you up. See, I literally right? didn't hear anything right there. <laughs> he, so said, he said, except said not for him. me. Yeah. What? I'm quiet. What? So I have a feeling that Phil and I will be down here at like number three and Nick will be up at like number seven. Nine. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is we can also capture sound from a computer. We can capture sound from a phone or any Bluetooth device. So if we ever did do, God forbid, any sort of like a viewer call in type of feature, which I never plan on doing, the last thing I would ever do is give anyone open mic on this channel from the internet. Bad things happen. And then it has, of course, a sound pad on here, which we can control custom sounds like farts and stuff. You guys know me. So anyway, uh, yeah, I thought this was pretty awesome for 600 bucks. And then because we only want the best of audio here, I picked up three more Shure SM7Bs. $400 microphone each. The reason why I chose these though is just like I have at home, amazing uh, rejection in terms of uh, reverb and echo. That's one of the reasons why we're doing it here. This is our best set when it comes to reverb. If you're hearing reverb now, it's because we have an on-camera mic and not a nice dynamic mic. Also too, this is a dynamic mic, not a condenser mic, which means it's not powered. But the Rodecaster Pro is actually able to power this mic no problem, because it is, uh, it's not very loud in terms of its gain. So you need something in either your mixer or a cloud up, uh, uplifter in line or something to boost the levels, otherwise you might not get enough gain out of it. So that's the hardware. We're talking like two grand worth of audio equipment alone. We're taking these tables apart now. We're gonna be setting up a conference table in here. We're gonna kind of reconfigure this area. Something else we sort of have to do, don't know if we'll get to it today, but I want to do, 
Remember, this is a fake set. So we've got this big giant opening here going into this big old echoey warehouse. House, house. I wanna keep the sound out of there. So I want to do some more cross beams all on the top where I can put more of the sound deadening foam up there and then build some sort of a retractable or wall on a hinge or something here so that we can kind of close this up and have an enclosed area that we can talk. Remember, I have to skirt code here, which means I ha can't have anything mounted to the ground. I can't have anything mounted to the existing walls. As soon as anything becomes mounted down, then it has to conform to code because this is a fake set that's just freestanding. I can kind of do whatever I want with it. No, Nick, come back. <laughs> we love no. you. <laughs> that hurt you? What did he say? I said, eat it, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> What did that hit? Is that a tooth? <laughs> so you get myself a little drink. I want it to be kind of a low. I don't think that's right, Nick. No, no, it goes this way. <laughs> this job is already paying for itself. <laughs> hey, get it? <laughs> All right, we also got our first. Wow. Our first test pass of our new merch. That's so, what so we're doing. Ow, I just punched myself. These are the white hoodies, medium. That's you. 2X fat, it's for me. <laughs> 2X fat, the name and the size. The only thing that sucks is like for us, it's getting a little bit too warm to wear right now. But for those of you in Australia, which we do ship to, it's your winter coming up. You guys might be wondering like, Jay, why are you wearing an LTX shirt if you've got your own merch? That's because since we're working today and doing dirty stuff, I wouldn't wear my shit clothes. So this one features our Size Matters logo. The irony. Size Matters. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, So we're trying to figure out the layout for the table right now. The only problem is everyone's leaning on this table and it's like moving all around. <laughs> Cause Nick built it. Nick, this doesn't seem very tight. You're tight. No, I'm serious. Is it just a crappy table or? It did not do this when we first bought it. Nick, I'm turning these by hand. Look, you see me unscrewing this? <laughs> tight. <laughs> Wait. All right, I'll finish building the table. Did you say you were planning on doing your own suspension? <laughs> no. Wait, oh, in the car? No. Okay, good. What, what, uh, on the what else? <laughs> when did your suspension go on? <laughs> RC cars. Oh, okay. Right, because I'm suddenly talking about an RC car. <laughs> Maybe I should do it so I can just end it already. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I, that barely missed. <laughs> All I heard was dook next to my head. Whoa! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> yep. This looks like the stupid bow flex thing. <laughs> Stuck at home during the pandemic? Get your workout on with this. <laughs> Did you do the BB knife? <laughs> Look at that! It's, oh. it's California legal. You put it on there. It's gotta go this way. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, so we're trying to figure out the proper angle to do these mics without it like completely obstructing uh, someone with the mic arm. So there's the camera over there. I think this is okay. I don't mind part of my view being blocked because I can actually bring mine off to the side right here. If I'm like that, if I'm talking to both of you, you just get, you get used to wrapping around the mic that way you're always talking directly into it. Because the thing about the Shure mics is you have to like, Literally like nom nom on them as you're talking. Is this fine, Jay? Is this how it's supposed to work? That's exactly how Joe Rogan did it. <laughs> Welcome. And, and we talked about maybe mounting the arms on the sides and having them come in. But then the problem is, if we do that, then they are both gonna be blocked by their own mic arms by that camera angle. And because these arms don't articulate the other way, we can't put it along the table and have it come up. So they have to always be a crane. Ultimately, <laughs> This whole podcast is designed for us to literally, it's an audio cast that we just, for those that want to watch the live viewers, it's like a uh, live nation, right? Yeah. You, you want to watch the live show? Fine. Yeah. This is 
That's a manual? <laughs> You can't miss it. Part of the reason that we're making this a geometry problem and not just running three cameras, because obviously that's the obvious solution, is because we if, don't have we don't have someone running production for us. But we're doing <laughs> yeah, that. We're switching the cameras. To we have camera. three camera people, but then we can't no, also podcast. We have one and a quarter <laughs> camera people. Oh my God. Wait, one and a half. Give you guys a little bit more credit. <laughs> Yeah, there's, nobody, there's not gonna be anybody running. No, this isn't an opportunity for someone to be like, I'll do it for you. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just, it is what it is, right? I'm talking I, to the wrong camera. <laughs> Wait, oh, yeah, you're right. I'm so used to talking yeah, to the Jay's so used to talking to the MS5. I'm not even over there. He's just talking to it instead of me. <laughs> Dude, I would have totally gotten this for my home setup if I needed more than one mic input. Yeah. But having the uh, the the voice changer and stuff is awesome with the Go XLR. Well, plus your sliders slide Windows sliders. Mm -hmm. These don't. These slide their right. own sliders. They slide whatever the inputs are. But the Go XLR allows me to actually set different sound profiles for items in the computer. Like the game has its own track, so I can turn the game up and down. Like the way the Go XLR works is, let's say this is mic, and you can program the four to be whatever you want it to be. So that could be my mic input. If I'm too hot, I can turn down some. Problem story of my life, right? I'm always too hot. Anyway, um, this one could be like Discord. So every time Phil's talking, I just do that. And then when Nick's talking, I do that. Um, this could be the game volume. So if you're like, you can hear the game, you can put it up a little bit. This could be um, music, if I have like music streaming from something else. So you can customize all the, all the volume in the mixer rather than like trying to do Discord sliders. And it, it, not even Discord sliders, but uh, like OBS sliders. And everyone knows. The volume levels seem to just mysteriously change all on their own from one boot to the next. It, like it's fine one day, then the next stream they're like, I can't hear anything. It's just like, why did it change? No one touched anything. What I mean? changed my mind from Taco Bell to account for you. You're welcome. I I helped you there too. Why? I kept Taco Bell from going into your intestines. I helped you. <laughs> Both of you to assume that I want to keep Taco Bell out of my. So if you guys want a preview of the podcast, it's pretty much this. I think we we'll put the other table like wherever there is on the floor. We need to make a support. <laughs> so we're gonna lay. Jeez. We're gonna put another one of these across the top. <laughs> So as you can see, that like Alfred Hitchcock looking light right there, that's lighting up the wall like I don't want and creating a shadow, is coming from our skylight that our cover is like falling off. So don't show that, that's not a OSHA approved. <laughs> it's gonna block that light, but that light isn't really doing much because that's giving us all of our light, uh, the, the egg crate. So we have this that's gonna, we'll just roll it to when we're gonna do our podcast. So what I'm gonna do now is Nick, We'll kind of move the FS5 out of the way. We'll get the we'll get the ladder right here, and then I'll just get it hoisted up there, and then go up and then throw it over. And then I don't know if I'll nail that one if I'll screw that one down. I think it just laying across with the fabric on it should be fine. I don't want to knock over my Missouri ship. Why don't we just move the ship then? Why don't you just shut up? Proceeds to break Missouri and then yells at me. <laughs> All right, get the grab my wood. <laughs> Come on! Dude, Nick, look at that light. It's like so crazy. Ah! <laughs> Ow! Take my boat. What's the Look at this oily boot. This muck. This murk. It sunk, didn't it? <laughs> yes, on its same, on its same <laughs> voyage. Voyage. <laughs> How did it sink? Did it just fall? Did it sink? <laughs> did it sink via knee snap? When it gets like what, oh, no. here, it starts to flip. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason we know how it looks like is because our boats always sink in roller ships. All right, so obviously, if we're gonna be doing a live stream, we need to capture. So we're using uh, one of the Origin PCs that we were sent because it's already assembled and has a capture card in it, which is kind of nice. It has the Elgato uh, HD60, I think it is, PCI Express card. So no latency. So the way, and you can see over there by Nick's legs, the water-cooled one, so it's perfect. Um, to be honest, it was assembled, and that's what makes it awesome. <laughs> and it's got a 3090, which is really overkill for the codec that we need. <laughs> I was realistically gonna just build a PC using old parts in like a 2060, because that would have been plenty for a live stream just to capture the camera. 
Um, but anyway, it's assembled and we can be up and running to test here quickly. The uh, other thing that we need to do is we need to get power to it. We're gonna be going display port to the monitor so I can monitor what's happening with the stream, but we're going HDMI out from our FS7, which is still on the shelf over there, to the computer. So we'll be monitoring our stream through OBS, not through the direct connection as if it were a monitor hooked up to HDMI on the camera. So we're still gonna also have to get um, from the mixer board over here to the computer as well. That way we can do things like firmware updates and uh, download the sound files and stuff that we want to it. Uh, but the nice thing is the mixer board just needs to connect to the camera. Now the audio portion doesn't matter. This allows us to put a micro SD card in the back and just hit record. We'll have audio no matter what. So that will, there'll be like hardly any delay getting that up onto Spotify or whatever. I don't even have a Spotify account I'll set one up for the live stream. Um, that way you guys have an audio cast without us having to do any work to it. But in terms of the live stream, we don't want to desync our video and our, and our sound, which can happen if I go mixer to computer and video to computer, they can become out of sync and it's happened before. So if we go mixer to camera, let that be audio source to camera and then camera through display port to the computer, those stay in sync. So that's gonna be our connection here with wires everywhere that we'll try and make as neat as possible. Right now we need to get everything set up and tested. Once everything's tested and works, then we can worry about the cable management so that it's easy to not only look nice, but also easy to service if we have to change a cable or something needs to be changed. So here's, here's, the, here's the sound piece right here. You can see how much Nick's mic's picking me up. That's me talking directly into my mic. Testing. Now if I turn Phil up. Testing. Look at that. Hey, 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 look at that. Hey. It's got a built-in compressor. It's not, You're that's right. sick, look. <laughs> 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 Stop it. <laughs> I think <picture. laughs> <I picture. laughs> We need to get headphones, uh, monitors for all three of us. And I think we should like go, like I said, Guitar Center or something, pick ones you guys like. Um, we need to also get a long USB-C so that we can reach from here to the computer. All right, let's go get that and let's come back and maybe we'll finish this live stream. With, or not sound, this live stream, but this video. Yeah, everything cleaned up and how it's gonna look for the podcast so that hopefully you guys will tune in on Friday. So this is what it actually looks like that we came up with. You can hear us all talking. I think it sounds great. It sounds amazing. It's I'm, well, there's three SM7Bs that better for what it costs. <laughs> I think Nick's voice has more bass. I want bass because I sound. Here, amazing. I'm gonna fix it for you guys. There we go. Hey, oh, that's me. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right there. Hey, hey. hey, come on. Hey, hey, hey. all right. <laughs> So we can adjust Nick's volume because Nick's the quietest one here. Um, we actually had Bluetooth connectivity. I already had a test uh, phone call with the wife earlier. So we would actually be able, you guys are always like, call Linus, bug Linus, blah, blah. We could actually call someone and like. <laughs> what time is it over? No, there? I'm not gonna bug Linus. Oh yeah, he's probably like eating dinner. I don't right? wanna willingly talk to him. But the cool thing is, you know, like if I wanted to, if I wanted to play something for the audience to hear, you know, any Bluetooth connected device could do it. I, I think we might, what we might end up doing is getting like a show iPad. Right, yeah. so that it's just for the show. Yeah, just like a dedicated little thing that everyone can like, you know, use here. Exactly. Bluetooth. Yeah, no, that exactly. Makes sense. I, I kind of wish it you could pair more than one Bluetooth device at a time, but you know, unfortunately, you can't do that. Also, one thing that you guys are noticing is that I can do this. This is, you know, here's the thing. Phil was giving me a hard time earlier in this in this vlog about like how much these arms cost, but I think he's redacting that now. Yeah, no, I mean, I've never I've never used one, so yeah, I was talking a lot of crap, and now. This is why, because... The, the, so the SM7B itself has a, a crazy amount of, like... Uh, Stabilization I, is basically... It has a built-in shock mount. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then so do the arms. So it's like... <laughs> now, the other thing is, we, obviously, all of this is because we are starting a... I need to put the mic back how I want it. There we go. We're starting a live show uh, that we want to start doing again probably on Fridays. I think we're going to do it this Friday. I haven't picked a time yet. Um, follow on social media on, uh, you know, in fact, I'll show you guys our, our new lower third for the show and we'll tell you what it's going to be called. In fact, here's what we're calling it right here. The RTFM show. Is that for pretty? We made it five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. More like an hour and five minutes <laughs> well, ago. We but started an hour and five minutes ago. We got it, distracted. Yeah, it was a while for we you guys. We got distracted by stuff. We actually made that logo and everything. I had that logo <laughs> idea in my head. And uh, I was able to describe it to Phil and Phil made it. We found the fonts and we like the way it turns out. I'm pretty sure we're not the only RTFM podcast type show that's out there, but whatever, we're, we're doing it. So also too, in terms of audio, our AC is running right now, which is a very loud 10 ton unit that's inside the building. Basically we only run it 
if we're filming, if it's actually hot enough to, you know what I mean, that we're going to like, right. sweat to death. Well, we're going we're gonna to be going into the summer here pretty soon. Like next week, it's going to be in the 60s, so I don't think we're going to need to... 60s Fahrenheit, 60s Celsius <laughs> would be like, you know, Australia, but... <laughs> oh, <man>. Wait. <laughs> what? I don't know. But the, but the other cool thing is the way this, this mixer pad works is we can customize, obviously, on here, the different, um, like, sounds and stuff that we want. The pre-programmed stuff has, like, you know... And then, you know, it's got auto ducking and stuff. You'd be like, welcome to the RTFM show with me, your host, me, your host. I'm your host, me, Jay, with me co-host over here, Philip, and other me co-host, Nicholas. No, it's it's coconut me and coconut me, Jay Sue me, me Sue Sense, me freaking me. So anyway, okay. So like I said, we are going to have, shut up. We are going to have two versions of this show that will simul, simul they're not going to simulcast but we will have a live show whether it's going to be on <laughs> all right i'm going to get one of these things. so we are this is probably a lot of what you guys have to expect in this show to be honest um, so we can put a micro sd card in here and can and record the audio direct to micro sd which is awesome because as long as we get the show started the moment we hit go on this uh, we're ready to go do the show. That means we can get it up to Spotify, Apple, whatever, and get the show out to you guys as fast as possible in audio format so you can listen to it you know, on your bike ride, your car drives or whatever, which is our number one thing when I was doing Tech Talk we were asked for and never did. Because what I had to do before is that Tech Talk was a live stream. So I would have had to then record it locally, then rip out all the audio, then get the audio format like all trimmed up because we always had parts that we were filming before and after the show to just kind of get everything working and then ready to go live and hit a go live button on something else. Now we'll just be able to chop the end, chop the beginning, send it up. Because and this records audio. It records audio direct to it without the need of a computer. Yeah, to its own media. In fact, then- if we weren't even wanting to do the live section like you guys were seeing here, um, which isn't live for you, but it will be, we wouldn't even need the computer or anything. Yeah, we could literally just keep it off. Just keep it off, record the audio when you're yeah. done. Yeah. So anyway, um, I think uh, this turned out pretty pretty nice. Do you have anything anything you want to add, Nick? I just really like the way I sound. <laughs> I know, dude, I don't. He has more bass than you, uh, like both of us. Here, I can fix that. Hold on to me. <laughs> you make him all thin. Uh, I don't know. There. Hold on, let me look at his sizing. Wait, there, right. I took away his bass. Wait, why would you do that? Wait, hold on, hold on, That's hold funny. on. You can hear there it. There we go. Hear the roll put, put, put the bass back, please. Put the bass back. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's what you guys have to look forward to. It is the RTFM show. We are starting it this Friday, whatever day that uh, that is of the calendar time. <laughs> Isn't that next oh, day? <laughs> April 2nd. As for the time, I don't know yet. You'll have to follow uh, on Twitter or something so I can announce it. And we'll probably end up having a show uh, Twitter as well that if we want to do like, let's poll the audience or whatever, you guys can contact there. Anyway. Thanks for watching this vlog. So at least you guys got to see the results of what we wanted to do. The fruits of our labor. The fruits of your labor. Oh, okay. You did all most of the screwing. <laughs> and then I had to go back and re-screw it all because you didn't do it tight enough. Oh I did it, I did, God, it I did so it, loose, dude. I did it upside down. I didn't realize it gets I've loose. Like, I've like I bumped it Jenga up. towers tighter than this table that Nick put together. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Anyway. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Oh, I was waiting for Jay to say one. <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs>